Hello everyone, and welcome to what will be the first part, hopefully a series, um, of this is the Link the Past randomizer mod. Uh, supposedly in this it changes the locations of basically every item. You can open any random chest and get anything, which will make the game a whole hell of a lot more interesting. Uh, this is going to be the first video here on the channel, depending on how it turns out. I mean, I might end up redoing things or whatnot, but we'll, uh, we'll see. It's definitely a test run, and, uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy, and hopefully I won't get stuck by some stupid item placement, but we'll see. Um, kind of have to. It's a classic. So this is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Apparently they changed the dialogue to not only Japanese. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, great, well, we're off to a marvelous start. Uh, normally you're supposed to get the lantern. I played through this game probably like 30 or 40 different times, so I'd like to think I have most of it memorized. So we'll see if there's any way I can like get some exploits to get some extra chests in there and get some before I should. We'll see. I know at very least from the little bit of info I've seen on this that I'm going to at least get like the basic sword and shield when I should, which if I got that, I can figure out the rest of this crap. Did they have your Weedabix? No? certain segments of this dungeon that are going to be real fun without the, uh... Oh, hey, here's a heart. I'll take it. Uh, without the lantern. But hopefully we'll be able to score an item or two in here. If not, I know in the lower area of the sewers, there's a bomb the wall with a few chests that I can always come back to. Assuming I get some particular items. But we'll, we'll find out. I, I have a, a few things in mind. After I realize the concept of how this works, there are, uh, chests on the other one, and I'll just start clearing them one by one until I get something I need to do some sort of clearing. It's definitely going to be unique. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and honestly, I'm looking forward to something a little bit different. I've, uh, like I said, I've played this game since it, like, first came out on the SNES, and it's a whole hell of a lot of fun. But a challenge every now and then is nice. I'm actually kind of hoping that the dungeons are out of order, like improper hearts and stuff, that will provide a lot of challenges for sure. Just gonna start making our way down, try and get Zelda, see if we can't get a useful item out of the boomerang chest. Oh hey, two keys. Skip the boomerang room entirely, really. I always love doing that. It's the best thing, just watching them panic for a few seconds as they hang over the edge. It's a little touch of Try to keep each individual video to like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, there's no like set guarantee on that because it really depends on how good I am at keeping an eye on the clock. Uh, and I'm still kind of fiddling around with the recording software, so pardon the dim lighting and the paleness. I'm trying to figure out lighting that doesn't make me look as pale as I actually am. Um, and so far, no such luck on that. But it's it's a work in progress. As well as I hope there aren't any audio issues. I've been messing around with those values as well, trying to get like a good recording. Um, okay, bombs, sweet. I can definitely hit those chests. I just gotta not fuck up and use them. So I can always use the pots down here to stunlock the uh, ball and chain guy. I used to know all the names. I don't anymore. Yay. I was really 
actually hoping to get some like bullshit item from one of the first chests. <laughs> like how fun would it be to like run through the entire game with the hook shot from three hearts? But we'll see. I think a lot of the challenge with this game is gonna be trying to find exploits when I can't get the items I need. It's not gonna be the uh, the standard order of progression or anything close to it, but I'm okay with that. Game. That'll be able to work around any of this stuff, so I'm hoping this will be something I can play through from start to finish. Um, we'll see. <laughs> it kind of all depends, but uh, so long as it doesn't get broken, we'll, uh, we'll see how it turns out. There's like some canonical reason for it, but I always wondered why it seemed like some of these knights had autonomy and the others were just following a path. Like, again, programming and item types and all that, but uh, there's gotta be like something about like Aghanim's mind control that comes into play there. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know, that's how I always pronounce it. Okay, yes, I am going to need this key because there's uh, one that I can normally only get by lighting shit up. That I'm not going to be able to do. I'm trying to get as many rupees as I can because there's also the bottle I can get, and I don't know if that's randomized, and I'm worried it might be, because if it is, the I would hate to, like, not get the bottle and then realize I am out of one very powerful item I need. So this is my first time playing through a Japanese version of the ROM. Which this base is, I mean, they've added the text and a few other things, um, but basically everything I've played, I've played the, uh, the, the PAL version, or the, uh, I don't think it was NTSC at that point. Alright, let's see, what do you got for me? Oh, full 20 rubies, wow, that's just, that's so nice. I'm being sarcastic, but I actually kind of I mapped these keys wrong. Playing this like it would be on a SNES controller, and that's my downfall. Hard piece? Okay, not bad. Boomerang? Alright. Ah, uh, yes! Nice! I don't think that could have gone better, because now we can go through the first dungeon in proper order and get all those without a single problem. Sweet! Awesome. That is a good start for this one. Oh, 
I also remember reading that they had like a randomizer run of like the original NES Zelda, which I think would be like fun to try. It's kind of a uh, bit of a nut when it comes to these games. I've been playing them for way too long. It seems like my go-to series growing up. I always kind of, I always end up falling back to it. Um, so having some like new challenges or even some like really stupid instances with the items and uh, shit laid out very weirdly will uh, will make it for a more unique playthrough I think. And I wonder if they have like versions for some of the other games like the uh, games. more bombs. Okay, that's cool. I guess it's not my first time doing a three heart run, but I'm definitely going to uh, Karako which I always get told I pronounce. Like, there's a big divide between those who say Kakariko and those who say, like, Kakariko. I am probably fucking it up, but bear with me. There we go. I'm just gonna go straight there, because there's so many chests there. It's not even like dealing with anything else until I see what I can get. have the bombs, so first things first, we're just gonna go over and drop down into the little uh, hole over here by the cave. There's two chests up top, and one behind the bottom of the wall. Okay, 50 rupees, not bad. 10 arrows, needed those. Nice, no longer a 3 heart run. Heart container, can't be bad. <laughs> fucking bottle. Oh, man, this is a uh, unique already. But hey, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. That's that's pretty decked going into the first dungeon, I gotta say. I'm gonna I get a feeling this is gonna be a quick playthrough. Okay, bombs. That's cool. The rest of the items are pretty good. And there's plenty more chests here, so we'll, we'll see what comes out for me. Start with you. See what you're selling. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. I'll buy a heart container from you. Here, you want to buy this human heart? Cool, yeah, definitely. I, not, not what I was expecting, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, we got a block puzzle on the bottom of the wall. So if I remember correctly, I gotta do that. get three of them. <laughs> Say as I fuck up the other one. Uh, half magic meter. Finding the half magic meter. Like, what am I, like seven minutes into the game? Item drops have been super, super lucky, because a lot of the other, like, starts of playthroughs I've seen, you get, like, the boomerang and the bombs, and that's it. I really, really like to, like, find the mirror shield before I get the master sword. Or, like, the, the red tunic before I get to dungeon three. We'll see, though. So far, so good. I am, like, thoroughly content. And no 1-800 number I do not want to pick up. And you can go fuck yourself. Um, there's Bug Boy. There's the, the back of the, the pub. Which normally is a bottle, but we'll see. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just got me a medallion. Bombos is, like, fucking ridiculous. It's going to be overpowered. I hate it. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm, like, fairly well off. Let's go get another thing, kid. Hey, heart piece. I'm nearly at six hearts. I haven't even entered a dungeon. I have a medallion. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, I'll take it. Um, 
I'm just out of curiosity. If I got the Book of Medora, I want to know what's on top of this bookshelf up here. Please tell me not the Pegasus boots. <laughs> oh, okay, Bob's. Doesn't matter. There's, um. I could do the little racing minigame puzzle. If I have bombs, I can just make my way through that door. Let's see if that's at the end of that. Why not? And then I think before I go to the first dungeon, I'll hit up the ice cave. See if there's anything there. But I'm rapidly approaching like the end of this first, so what we're going to do right now- Oop, oop, nope, not blow myself up. Not hit the wrong button. I'm gonna pause, I'm going to uh, stop the recording, and I will see you guys on the next episode.